What's going on, guys? It's been a little while since I've talked to you. Um, not talked to you since I've seen Matt. Um, today's video, we're actually gonna do something a little different. Uh, Matt and I are gonna change it up a little bit. We're here at Muscle Underground like usual. We're gonna talk about my four favorite exercise for bigger quads. Now, a little background on me real quick. If you guys don't know, I didn't always have the legs that I have now. I was 100 and I think 17 pounds when I graduated high school, which was just the other day. Um, and I come from a family with really skinny legs, no butts, uh, pretty much no lower body development. So I've had to grow my legs. These are not genetic by any means. So we're gonna go over today my four favorite exercises to grow those quads. So hope you guys enjoy and let's go. All right guys, so before we get into the, my four favorite exercises for bigger quads, we gotta warm up the hips. If you're like me, you're a little older, you know that your mobility isn't the best anymore. So we're gonna go through two pretty much, excuse me, we're gonna go through two exercises. It's been a couple weeks since I've been in front of the camera. Uh, two uh, mobility exercises to go through real quick. I like to spend about seven to 10 minutes doing them. So we're gonna kinda fast forward while I do that. But you guys watch, take a look, and let's go. All right, I don't know if you guys can hear me. I'm pretty sure you can, but I got this one from Coach KJ, my buddy Katie Johnson. Um, it's called the World's Greatest Stretch. So we start with, Raise your hands up all the way nice and high. Reach down, walk your hands out. You're gonna bring your left heel to your left hand, okay? And what you wanna do is you wanna sit into your hip, okay? So sit into it, push into that glute, feel the hip opening up, it's gonna be a nice deep stretch. You're gonna take your elbow, try to reach for the ground. My mobility is terrible. And you reach for the sky for a T-spine stretch. Reach back down with the elbow, hand back. Same thing on the other side, right foot, right hand. And you wanna get your heel as close to your hand as possible. Again, sitting to that hip, nice and deep. Reach up, elbow down, and back from here. Walk your hands back. Reach up. That's one. I'm gonna do nine more. You guys do the same. We're gonna fast forward through this. Ready? All right, guys. So the second stretch we're gonna do, I'm gonna go into a Bulgarian split squat. Um, I'm gonna go to the largest, excuse me. I'm gonna go into the portion of the movement where the muscle is, el is elongated the most. Wow, I haven't been in front of the camera in like three weeks and I'm stumbling. Whew. Okay, so. All we're gonna do, we're gonna go into a Bulgarian split squat. Put your foot back. Man. You're gonna come on down. I want you to sit back. I am real tight. I want you to sit back into your hip. So right now my left foot is forward, okay? I'm sitting back into my right butt cheek. I'm up nice and tall. I'm keeping my core tight. I'm breathing through my nose, out through my mouth. I am pushing through my right hip Okay, to get a stretch from my quad all the way through my hip. I'm gonna stay here for about 60 seconds. Timer starts now, somewhere over there. Same leg, excuse me, different leg. Right foot forward, pulling through the quad, switch legs, 60 seconds, six, zero, go. All right guys, so my number one favorite exercise for building big quads, really those for building big legs, the meat and potatoes, barbell back squat. So, first thing is, how do you set up a barbell back squat? Where should the bar be? Now, I'm gonna step back. You guys can see, when I come to the bar, the bar is about just a little higher than my nipples. So it's kind of more on my upper chest. So that's where the bar should sit because what's gonna happen, you're gonna get underneath the bar and you wanna nice and easily come up with it. So, second thing. First is the barbell placement on the rack. About upper part of your chest, kind of around your nipples. Second, hand placement. If you guys can see, there's little markings right here. So what I like to do is, because of I'm five, eight in shoes, uh, I like to put my pinkies right here on the first line, okay? I grip it, I come underneath, and I put the barbell, not on my neck, on my traps, and I stand up with it. All right, occasionally you'll see me go wide with my grip, but that's only because my shoulders are probably hurting that day. So, 
Piggy's on the inside. All right? Next thing. Rule number three. Okay. First, barbell placement above the nipples. Second, hands on the lines. Third, bar goes on your trap. Fourth thing, come up under the bar, unrack the bar, then take the step back. You're gonna go through the motion, do your set. When you're done, okay, don't come up and try to step at the same time. Finish your rep, walk the bar in, come down, and you're good. Cool? Awesome. So, what we're gonna do today, we're gonna go through four sets of eight to 10 reps, working sets, we're gonna go about three to four sets of warm up reps. So, with that said, let's get us into warm up reps. Then we're gonna do three sets of eight to 10 working reps, and then we're gonna move on to my second favorite exercise for building bigger quads. Let's go. I'm not gonna get crazy, because the video's for you guys. So, we're gonna do 225, so it's of eight to 10, uh, three sets. Personally, when I'm trying to build any muscle, I like to go through a power program. If you go back to my four weeks to a bigger chest series, if you apply that same concept to your squat and work your percentages, that's the best way to grow your legs, in my personal opinion. So, with that said though, today is just for you guys. Do three sets of eight to 10, still gonna suck. You guys should give it a go. Set two. The smaller the shorts that you wear, or the tighter the leggings, the stronger your squats gonna be. Sight. One more time. All right guys, so my second favorite exercise for building some twigs is a heel elevated goblet squat. So in your gym, your 45s, your 25s, your dimes, and your nickels should all be different sizes. So for a heel elevated squat, what I like to do is I like to take a, a 25 pound plate because of how thick it is, okay? It's not too thick, it's not too thin, and it's enough of a heel elevation. Now, I've posted this before on my Instagram and I've gotten questions about why I don't just wear powerlifting shoes. And the reason being is I personally don't get the same effect out of wearing powerlifting shoes for a goblet squat as I do as if I were to elevate my heels through a plate. Um, I'm able to get a little deeper, I'm able to drive my knees a little wider, and able to sink in a little more. So with that said, let's show you how it's done. Okay, toes pitched out just a little bit, heels on the plate. So. What this should do is help you sit back onto your heels. Grab a respectable weight. What you can do, you can get up under the weight, hold it like a goblet, get it right under your chin, place it properly, explode through the heels, sit back down. We're gonna do three sets of 10 reps. Two more sets of 10, heels elevated, sink back under your chin, knees wide. Your turn. All right guys, so 
my third favorite exercise for building some big ass legs is a leg extension. Now, setting up for proper leg extension is important. So, what you wanna do with the machine, you wanna make sure the extension is pushed back as far as it can be. Reason why, you want your legs to extend in a full range of motion. You don't wanna cut the motion short because then you're not working the muscle in the full range. The second thing is you wanna make sure the pad is in the proper place. How to tell the pad's in the proper place? Slide on in. And the backs of your legs, excuse me, backs of your knees should be sitting right there on the pad. You can either grab, embrace, down here, down here, but brace yourself at some point because if you don't, you're engaging other muscles. So brace yourself, really extend and squeeze, and come down. What I like to do is I like to do three sets of 15 to 20 reps at the end of my workout or at the beginning. You guys give it a shot. If you do it right, this should really suck. So, if I'm at the end of my workout, what I typically like to do is three to four sets of 15 to 20 reps. In that range, the first 10 reps, as you guys notice, I like to give a little pause. Really squeeze and contract the muscle. And then the last five to 10 reps, bang on through, push blood into the muscle, finish it up, get it done. It's gonna suck, it's gonna grow those quads. All right guys, so my fourth favorite exercise for building legs is barbell lunges. Now, the putting the barbells on your back, barbells, singular, barbell on your back is difficult for you. Dumbbells are just as good. I personally like a barbell. I just feel more comfortable with it that way. But what you're gonna do is you wanna make sure you take, let me come over here for you guys. You take long strides, okay? Sitting back into your hips, literally really stretching those glutes, drive through the heel, activate the quad, step together. Sit down, step together, okay? What I like to do is I like to do three sets of 12 steps with a decent amount of weight on my back, usually at least half my body weight. And that's usually the end of my quad workout. And then I'll end it with body weight lunges. So with that said, let's show you guys what to do. One, take your shirt off. Two, wear extra small young LA shorts. Three, hashtag time to get shit done. And put the bar on your back. Again, just like your barbell squat. Let it sit on your traps, not your neck. And take a big long step and drive through together. Step together. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. Twelve to twenty-four steps. Is anyone you got? Those squads should be fired up at this point. That's your barbell lunges. That's my fourth favorite and most effective exercise for building some big quads. That was my four favorite exercises to building bigger quads. Just to recap, squats, goblet squats, leg extensions, barbell lunges, body weight lunges to superset with your barbell lunges. It's been a great time with you guys. I always check back on Thursdays. That's when we put out new videos. As always, the man behind the lens, at Matt Lean Photos. I'm gonna say here, he's gonna put it there. You guys know me, Bradley Goldman. BeStrongStayFit.com, Facebook.com backslash BeStrongStayFit where you probably found me, instagram.com backslash be strong, stay fit. With that said, I'm out of breath. You guys gotta go do this. Get out of here. I'll see you soon. Take care.